Um, a rather obvious metal grate. So this must be the back door. See? Loading. <laughs> Get in. Shut up, Cedric. That's the awesome. The twisted and deformed shapes of the island's rocks seem to grow up out of the very earth like strange weeds. Yeah, rocks will rocks will do that. They usually come out of the ground. You're an observant little guy. Graham tugs hard on the grate, but soon finds it's rusted in place and can't be budged. All right, so I guess. I, well, this thing, it kind of looks like a crowbar, so we'll try this. Bingo! All right, come on, let's roll. All right, Cedric, you coming with me, buddy? Oh, you're crazy to go down into that dark hole. You don't know what's down there. You! It could be poisonous things down there. I'd Oh no, no! I know this place. This is the instant maze of death. I'm gonna save right here. I remember this. I've been warned about this part, and I don't remember a goddamn thing. Um, I, I saved, okay. So basically it's just a maze, but... Uh, God damn it. This is going to suck. I am so sorry, people. I do not know my way around. So there's going to be a lot of the... <laughs> there's going to be liberal use of the skip here. All right, so this is where I came in. So I went that way. If I was smart, I'd be drawing a map, but I I'm lazy and I'm not. It just kind of... It just sort of takes off and what... Holy shit. A huge beast. Sporting a fluffy top knot bound in a crude hairpin on Whoa. top of his head, skulks in one dark corner of the labyrinth. Um, is, is it gonna hurt me? Um, <laughs> all right, so can I talk to it? What? Beep, beep, beep. All right. Um, can I do? It doesn't seem Graham evil can watch or. A step around this ugly beast. Does it hurt me? <laughs> Friend. Oh, I shall love him and name him and call him George. <laughs> All right. See, I was right. Friend. Um, see, if I had Cedric, I'd just give him Cedric. Here, hug this thing. Um. Look at that! It does... It's... <laughs> Alright, that's kind of endearing, I'll admit. Whoa, dude. That... What did he just drop? Graham reaches down and grabs the hairpin off the labyrinth floor. A hairpin. Okay, I'm guessing that'll come in handy for something. Hairpins are always used for picking locks in these games. Hey! There is a wooden door here. Perhaps it will lead into the castle. Sweet! All right. Let's, um, let's do it. Um... Just because Graham I know inserts I, the hairpin into the door's large keyhole and discovers, to his amazement, that it fits perfectly. Wow! Turning it ever so gently, he soon hears a soft click, and the door is unlocked. Graham is a man of many talents, I must admit. I mean, he's an accomplished harp player. He knows how to pick a lock with a hairpin. Um. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna be, I'm gonna save a lot into opening spaces because I just have a, a, a feeling that there's something else I need to find down here in the labyrinth uh, door. And if I don't have the little uh, gnip gnop that I need, then something's going to maul me or I'm just not going to be able to solve a puzzle or, or something. Say, hey, this looks official. Inside the cupboard, Graham's eyes fall upon a bag of dried peas. Dro That's the first thing you notice. All right. Reaching into the open cupboard, Graham retrieves the bag of dried peas. Does he retrieve the peas? 
That's a fun. That's a, that's a, that's a fun phrase to say. Hey, hey. All right. Wait a second. I know this music. Wait a second. Uh, this is from King's Quest VI. It's some um, girl. Uh, you're gonna. I feel like such a nerd for knowing this, but it's Girl in the Tower from King's Quest VI. Cause I remember that music. All right. So I'm guessing she's friendly because she looks like she's the, uh, a servant. So Don't hey. Come near me. Leave me alone. Come on. I'm I probably the first friendly face you. you've. I'd like to help. I you. promise I won't hurt you. I don't I'm not. Believe me. Just go away. Please. Believe me, baby. I'm Patrick Swayze. Alright, so I gotta find some way to prove to the girl that I am good. Maybe she'll want uh, my, uh, maybe the, the amulet. I'll give her a gift. Warning. Girls are very this cartoon contains material Damn, that may I be necessary good. for information. Shiny object. I must be a good guy. What? Did you find my gold locket? Dude, for an indentured servant or a slave? I she's like all dolled up. I left it on the just after I was brought here by Mordak. You wouldn't believe me even if I told you. But tell me, who are you and how did you come to be here? My name look is how Princess fucking Kisima, ripped he is. From that's the a, Kingdom that's... of the Green Isles. My father, Wait. the king, employed the horrible Kingdom of the Green Isles. That's another reference to King's Quest VI. When Mordak so maybe that ex... Me, Whoa, wait, 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 what was her name? So she must be the princess here. chick from King's Quest VI. Naturally, I refused. Kasima. And my father agreed with me. But our refusal angered him Is it? so much. I wasn't paying attention, damn it. Anyway. I have to look it up. And put me to work as a scullery girl. He oh, blimey, I'm just, I'm just a scullery maid. And a scullery girl I will remain until I agree to marry him. But she is really enthralled me. with this Amy. Look what at her. She's do? been staring at it the entire time she talks, making no Don't eye worry. contact I'm whatsoever. I'm save my family from the evil wizard. He's got them here someplace, imprisoned inside a glass bottle. If I can manage to rescue them, then of course I wouldn't forget you either. I know the glass bottle you're talking about. It's in Mordak's laboratory upstairs. Keep quiet about my presence. Uh, I think this will be the most difficult part of my journey. I may not survive it. I would never give you away, and I will help you in any way I can, kind sir. All right. Winning hearts and minds. That's the King Swayze way. Um, so she knows this castle pretty well, so let's see if she has any more information By the for way, me. Who are you? I'm King Graham of Daventry. I think I know where that is. Bullshit. It's very far from my home, though. Don't worry. Somehow, I'll get you home again. But first, I've got to save my family. You gotta love how heroic he yes, sounds. Though. I've no. got to save my I'll stand family. I'll King Graham. I'll help if I can. I don't need your Thanks. help. I have you a bag of dried peas. Well, aye, aye. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Um, even though it's an it's a insanely bad idea, I'm just going to go traipsing throughout the house after I save. <laughs> traips, traips, traips. Hi, I'm intruding in your castle. What's up? All right, so there's a head up there following me. And this thing is just beckoning me. I have to fuck Graham with it. Graham watches in horrified fascination as the grotesque organ begins to magically play an eerie tune. <laughs> grotesque all organ. All by itself. I'm sure that's not calling any attention to myself. Never happened. Nothing. Nothing. Um, all right. Dining hall. All right, this place is very well apportioned. Oh, shit. Goodbye, King Graham of Daventry. I have my amulet on. You can't hurt me. You can't hurt me. Am I no. I find your lack of faith disturbing. All right, we know what's going to happen. He's going to choke and die. Get on with it. I'm being stealthy. I swear to God, if you lose me, I'm going to slaughter you. How did a cat rat me out? 